Hi everyone, you might have noticed in your Next.js app uh, that when you are moving from one page to another page, then you might be having a slight delay from one uh, loading that page from the original page. Right? That's because Next.js is trying to uh, access to the server before loading the page and hence it loads the complete component, then later on it moves to that page. For example, here I have a home page here. If I press this about link over here, and it takes a minute and then uh, go back to the about page and by that time it still stays in the home page itself uh, if i go back to the home again uh, then it takes some uh, 0.5 seconds so if you notice my uh, code whatever i have done here uh, i have a just uh, open plain nextjs app here uh, you can notice that this is the uh, files are there if you notice the page i have a two page here index page and the uh, about page in the index page i have a uh, server-side props running on my uh, index page where it's just sending a request to some other server and uh, it might take some time to re uh, return back. So uh, I have hacked it and then actually given some one second of delay. I assume that there is at least one second of delay from the server. Now what we want to do is you while it is generating the uh, props for you, which means actually while this one second is there, or even if I increase it to two seconds or three seconds, then I want to show until that time, I want to show a spinner over here. And I also wanted to show uh, progress for from this place to this place going from here. So that's what we are going to do in this video. Let's get started. <clears throat> so I have here, as I said, I have an uh, open uh, uh, next project here. Let me go over what I have here. So I have a uh, component which is having a loader.js which I will come over here. I have just simply a loader uh, image that's why we were going to do it and we will I will be giving the uh, link for this also. I took this uh, loader from uh, loading.io so just a SVG from here. And I'll tell, I will uh, give the link for that and in the pages I have uh, two pages here index page and about JS page. So in the index page what I have here is it just simply on header in the header, I have two links here. So that's home and then about link using the next link. And of course, there are some content and now as I have some footer. Similarly, in the about page also, in the header, I have some, I have the two links, head and home and the about page. And I also have the some content over here and footer. That's all I have. And in both the pages, in index page and about page, I have some head get server side props running on my pages and which might actually send some requests to the server and take some minute uh, not a minute, of course, some couple of seconds to load the page. So by that time, the uh, website will be idle and uh, hence your page will not move from one post to another page. So we're going to start out this problem using something called next router uh, events. If you see this uh, Next.js uh, uh, documentation on router, then you have a section called router.events. So that actually what it does is whenever there is a route change from one route to another change then I can watch for an event called router change start and whenever the route change is completed which means the other page got completely routed uh, I can watch for this event called route change uh, complete I can also watch for this event called route change error and other events are there but mainly we are going to focus on these three uh, and uh, we will uh, we'll see how to use these things and get the uh, things done for us as I said, what we are going to do, we are going to use that uh, router dot uh, events to watch for the router changes, right? So what we are going to do here is when we are clicking this, then router has to change. Note this, if I click this, it takes a minute and then only it changes the routes. But what it does is that even fires off just before even actually is loading the complete page itself. That's all we are going to do. Let me open my console here uh, just to uh, make sure that we are doing the things right. You open the console here. And I'll go back to my app.js, just in the app.js. Let me uh, import the router from next, route, next router. And then I can call this router.events. Uh, router so now I'll take off this complete component here, the parenthesis, and then I return this. And before this return, uh, I will take this router and dot events and on you 
notice that in the documentation it says it is route change start okay so that's the event route change start and of course callback function is there whenever that does we can call a function of course it this passes the url the route which is changing to so you can take that and right now let's console log it um let's simply change simply say router route is changed and we'll try to run this and check it so what it will do if i just click on the about page it says router is changing if i press the home page it again says router is changing again right that's all it does as i told you i also have a similar event i can copy this and paste it down router change end i hope that's correct end or finish or done yeah i think it's router dot router change complete and so router change complete i can say the route changing is complete let's log out this and we'll see this here when i click about it just press router is changing and once the router is completed then it press router complete all right so using this gap we can load on this loader here uh, so what that what i'm going to do here is i'm going to uh, remember i have shown that in the initial stages that the i have a component called loader.js which has a loading spinning icon here uh, so if i show you in the browser this is what is going to be i'm going to take that so i have a class called loader container over there which is actually is taken from the loader.model.css which is somewhere here uh, loader.model.css it just has the uh, display as flex and position as absolute and has a height of 100 100 100 uh, vh to occupy the complete place and of course the spinner has some display inline uh, inline block and margin auto to center it and also with this 200 pixels that's all so let me load that particular component inside this whenever this router is getting changed that's all we are going to do so for that i'm going to use a use effect hook so let's take use not use effect use state don't need use effect import use state from react and then we can what a state like this let's create a state called loading and then uh, we'll create function set loading new state and we'll give false as initial value now whenever uh, this routes change is starting what we can do here is we can set the loading to true and whenever this root route change complete which means whenever the other component is ready we can set the loading to false Yes. and depends on this now i can load the component we bring the component first of all let's import uh, loader from i think it's from components or so double components and then loader yes and now what i can do here is inside my uh, return statements now i can take this return statement put in parenthesis and before returning anything i can uh, put a curly brace and say if the loading is true then let me load the loader component otherwise not of course this will alert me because it should have only single parent let me put the reacts fragment here and save it not to save okay so now what we have done here is we have set up a state here is loading or not if it is loading then we will going to show this uh, loader that's all so the way actually i decide it's loading or not using the route change start events okay let's see this whether it works or not if i press the about page i am on the about page right now if i press the home page 
uh, it says that router is changing and that loader is spinning here, right? So if I press the about page, then you can see that loader is spinning here. If I change the router, and as long as this is uh, loading, then it gives you the right. All right. Uh, so that's about this. And the way you can actually make sure that uh, this is working, which means from starting from here, it, you can go up to this. Uh, that you can make it work using something called npress. You can look into this documentation of npm, so package library called npress, and you can install it using this uh, command here. So npm install, say, uh, of course, npress, nprogress, sorry, nprogress, or you can also install it using yarn or bow or whatever it is. Now, what you can do is you have to also give the uh, CSS file running. Uh, the way you use this is while the router is changing, you can uh, just simply call this function called nprogress.start and while the complete is done, then you can simply call this function called nprogress.done. Uh, that will actually make the uh, uh, progress bot running from left side to right side. That's all we are going to do. Uh, so I set this uh, link. It was going some 404 error. So what I did was I had searched for nprogress CSS CDN and I got the CDN from CDNNJS, CDNJS.com. If I click on that, that was giving me CDN for this. So let me copy this link tag here just to min.css and progress min.css. Copy this and go to my app.js app .js, and remember where I can put here is I can put it in my head tag. So let me import the head tag first of all. Let's import head from next head and then before loading the you can call this head and I can paste this link tag here. All right, so now this uh, end progress link is available. Uh, I hope you are installed this. Huh? I have already installed it, that's why I did not install here. So after installing it, now I am accessible to call that function. If you notice the documentation, you can access this function called n progress. All right, let's import that. Let's import n progress from uh, n progress. Right now, what we can do here is we can call this function inside this uh, route to change event, right to change start event. So while setting the loading equal to true, or even before that or later, what you can also say is, you can start n progress dot start off. And you can also do the same thing for route to change complete, that you can set it, n progress, um, I think dot, Done, right? I hope that's correct. In progress, dot start, in progress, dot. That's all it is. So let me save this and see what is my output. Now, if I click on the about, you can notice that there is a blue bar going from left to right, right? If I, note, if I click on the home button, you can see that the blue bar is going from left to right. Of course, there is a spinner coming up here in this uh, right hand side. In the documentation, the details are given to how to uh, take off the spinner also. Uh, if you note down, if you go down, uh, there is a configuration page has also been given. Uh, I think you can also check out this their uh, GitHub uh, repository. They also give the uh, exact same information. In fact, more than uh, whatever is there in the npm's package library page. Uh, if you see, yeah, this is here. So end progress configure source spin spinner equal to false. If I copy this and then paste it in my uh, app.js and now this time if I press about then there is no spinner here in the corner. There are a lot of other configuration as well you can do that. All right I hope this video is useful and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.